Ethan Anila versus Matt Hassanzada. Now, this is a, a topic that's kind of caught a second wind the past few days in the YouTube community because uh, Ethan and Ela made an update video about this lawsuit they've been going through. Uh, and it was clear in that video how stressful this has been for them. And I just wanted to give my quick take on it. Not even a quick take. I'm not going to talk about the fucking lawsuit or what's happening. There's all types of resources online you can find with a quick search if you want to know what's going on between H3H3 and Matt Haas. You can look all those things up. I'm not here to provide facts. I just, I wanted to vent a little bit because in my personal real life, I don't have many people that are as involved in the YouTube community as I am. So me being able to talk to this camera, knowing you guys are going to see this, I guess in a selfish way, uh, is a way for me to just get a couple things off my chest. So for those of you uh, that are used to seeing Leon Lush's normal videos of, uh, you know, fucking me fucking monkeys and satire and whatever music, uh, you all know that my main goal is to always entertain. That is always the goal for me, whether it's music or commentary. I always want to make sure it's an enjoyable video. This particular one uh, is not necessarily that. This, again, is a little selfish uh, for me because I just want to talk about it because I have nobody else to talk about it. And this, for some reason, weighs on me heavily as a big fan of Ethan and Neela. So you all know the gist of it, right? Ethan and Neela made a video about Matt Haas, as they do about YouTubers with uh, a particular type of content, in this case, an unbelievably cringeworthy type of content. Uh, Matt Haas didn't take too kindly to it, sued them, uh, and it's turned into this very drawn-out lawsuit that has taken a toll on Ethan and Neela, uh, which was very apparent in their most recent video. It's costing them thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars, uh, but there is so much more at stake than just their career and their money in this particular case, and that's why I get so worked up about it, I think, because Matt Haas is not only attacking Ethan and Ela for making a video about him, which for the record, was not that bad of an attack. It was just them satirizing his content and talking about it in a comedic way, which they do with a lot of people. But for whatever reason, in Matt Haas's world, he's not able to handle that or have even a shred of self-awareness as to how horrific his content is. Like, if he was to just see their video and have just even just a shred just a shred of self-awareness and be like all right these guys i kind of deserve this i'm going to take a look at my content and realize how fucking shit it is and roll with the punches and kind of play it off he could have taken that free exposure that he got from h3h3 fucking rolled with it and turn it into a benefit for himself but instead in matt Haas's world he thought, for some reason, it would be better for him to go against the entire YouTube community, which is millions of people, in the sense that he's attacking H3H3, and I haven't seen a single person, not fucking one, that has supported Matt Haas in this particular cause. He decided it would be in his best interest to go against them for what they did and try and sue them for copyright infringement for using bits of his video in their video. And I can't, I, I honestly can't comprehend like how, what type of person it takes to literally sit down and go to sleep at night with this going on in your mind as a good idea. I've talked to Ethan a few times. I don't know him very well personally, but he just seems like a good guy. I'm a big fan of his content and his work and just his style of how he holds himself, how he maintains his channel and the content he creates. Again, it's a big uh, influence for me. So that's just a caveat as far as how I feel going into this situation. Now, Matt Haas uh, is a whole different story. And I think the easiest thing to do in this situation as someone who's an H3H fan is to go over to Matt Haas's channel, 
to leave hate comments, to fucking dislike all his videos, all these things, those are gratifying to do. It's fun, you know, it feels good to go to his channel and leave a comment that's going to make him feel like shit. I don't think that's the right play. And I think Ethan and Neela have even said not to do that because at the end of the day, Matt Haas is probably like keeping a three-ring binder full of fucking all of the hate comments he's gotten over the last several months, and he's probably going to try and use that as ammunition for his case, which I don't even know how the fuck he has a case. I just... How? Who is this man? Who is this man? How can you possibly be so up your own ass that you can't have some YouTubers make a little, you know, make a little fun of your content? And if, I mean, you've all probably seen his content at this point. I can't, I'm not going to talk about it. We know how fucking retarded it is. It's so bad. It's the type of content that if he was, if he was aware enough of what he was doing, you know, if he wasn't, if he, like, I feel like he has these delusions of grandeur that he can't get past, right? To really see what's going on in his life. And it's too bad. If he was aware enough to realize what his content was in the grand scheme of things and be able to embrace that and roll with it, he would be so much better off. But instead, he's taking this content and he's holding it in this high regard. And I feel like he just, he's so proud of all the work he's put into what he's made. And he takes himself so seriously now to the point where he can't take a little bit of criticism and it's turned into this long, drawn out, you know, six figure lawsuit. And it just fucking kills me because Ethan and Neela came from nothing, man. They built this channel through fucking blood, sweat and tears, hard work, fucking grinding out videos, being consistent, interacting, just building this incredible fan base. And Matt Haas, because he can't handle a little bit of criticism, which, by the way, was free fucking publicity for him. If he had just went with it, H3H3 making a video about him would have been the best thing that could have happened to his fucking shit channel. But because he can't take a little bit, because he's so delusional, so on another planet when it comes to being aware of anything, he's dragging them through the mud in this, you know, you know, six-figure lawsuit. And it's it fucking pisses me off. And now this lawsuit is so much bigger than just H3H3 and Matt Haas, because this is a precedent lawsuit. Now, initially months ago. Matt Haas offered, he's like, listen, you guys pay me four grand, don't ever mention this again, take down the video, we won't talk, you know, th that's it, I just want some money for this, and th first of all, that's bullshit, regardless of how much money it is, if you fucking demand four grand from somebody because they made a little video about you, like, oh my god, what, oh, I get so fucking worked up, what is, how does he sleep at night, what is going through his head that makes him feel like this is okay, I just don't understand it. I don't fucking in it. But Ethan and Neela were like, no, fuck that, because that sets the precedent. If we're like, okay, yeah, we're just gonna shell out four grand because we want this to be a shut case, don't have to deal with it. What's to stop that? I mean, if that case, if that happened, for instance, what's to stop anybody else from going after YouTubers that talk about other people or try and critique people? What's to stop anyone from trying to sue someone else? To get money, it would open up this fucking floodgate of bullshit fucking lawsuits and people trying to sue. And it's, uh, I just don't understand it. Listen, we like the United States, a lot of people like to shit on the legal system, right? Like in this case, it just feels like the legal system in the US is being abused in this particular case. But I mean, as far as the whole world goes, I feel like we have a pretty good legal system. With everything that's good, there's going to be loopholes and there's going to be abuse. But it's not like we're cutting off people's arms when they steal an apple. I got that from Aladdin. I don't know if that's how they really do it. But I think there's a lot of merit to our legal system. But there's obviously a lot of ways it can be exploited. And there's always a ton of money involved. And it's just fucking... It's so frustrating to me that someone like Matt Haas, with literally nothing going for him, is able to, because of this situation, take Ethan and Elu's career 
their livelihood, their money, their, like what they've built. And he's able to just fucking put a death grip on it and kind of drag it along in this long, drawn-out bullshit case because of a little video about his content. So this whole thing just, it gets me so fucking worked up because I'm the type of creator, I'm the type of YouTuber that likes to riff on people, likes to shit on people, likes to talk shit, you know, all for the greater good, really, to have some fun calling people out when they're doing dumb shit, right? We need to be, we need to hold each other accountable. And Matt Haas is trying to take away that ability from h 3 h by saying, no, you're not allowed to fucking call me out for making garbage. I'm going to sue you and take you for all the money you have. So this whole lawsuit, it sucks because we're all helpless. All of us in this community, I feel like we're all supporting h 3 h 3 I know Philly D did a GoFundMe. They raised a bunch of money to help with the lawsuit. And I don't know how much this is going to cost. Going forward, who knows how long this lawsuit is going to be drawn out. If it does go to trial, it's going to cost more and more and more. And I hope that we can continue to raise money because this lawsuit is more than just h 3 h and Matt Haas. This is about YouTube in general. Like I said, this is the precedent that it would set that if Matt Haas is able to get away with this fucking stunt, then that's going to give all these other little fucking pussy-ass losers that can't take a joke, that's going to give them ammunition to try and do that to other people. And I just, I think that's dangerous territory. So I made this video because I wanted to vent because this shit, it, it just, it makes me fucking angry that there's nothing we can do. We as YouTubers, as fans of H3H3, even if you're not a fan of H3H3, even if you don't like Ethan and Neela and their content, this should fucking matter to you. Because it's, it's about fair use, it's about freedom of expression, it's about all of these things that are very important in this new age in media. It goes from just being a YouTuber to having fun making videos, riffing on some people, to real life shit, six figures, trying to take your fucking life and squash it over some bullshit. That's important. We can't let that shit fucking happen. So it sucks because we're all a little bit helpless because there's nothing we can do. I hope that their representation is the best they can get, but at the same time, they're paying out the fucking ass to represent themselves in this case. So so that's really... That's it, man. I, I You know, again, I'm sorry. I, this video was a little bit selfish on my part because I wanted to vent... Um, I know probably all of you watching this video probably share the same feelings. There's not really anything we can do. I'm not trying to make this call to action. Um, I think we should just continue to support H3H3's cause in their defense of this case and really wish the best for them. And if this thing goes on and continues and it's costing them thousands and thousands of more dollars, fuck, let's start another GoFundMe and keep it going, man. I can't... I just, they can't lose this case for me. This this can't be a precedent set. Matt Haas cannot be allowed to win this fucking case. That would be devastating, not only for Ethan and Ela, but for this whole community we're in right now. And I don't know what it's going to take, but I hope we can find a way to not let that happen. Not that it's up to us, but... Uh... <sighs> If there's anything to be gained from this video, I guess it's that at this point, like I said earlier, like I know it's easy to go to Matt Huss's channel and to leave hate comments and all this shit, but I think all that's doing is fueling his desire to try and exact revenge or fueling this agenda he has to prove to everyone that he is worthy of something. I don't fucking know, but I think we just need to hold off. Don't attack him right like just let it be he's probably saving every comment he gets as ammunition like i just wish i, I deep down wish i just wish that matt hassanzada had someone in his life that he was close with whether it was a friend or a family member or something that could sit down with him and just have a dialogue with him one-to-one -one and be like listen matt i don't i don't think what you're doing is a good idea you're ruining your reputation over what you make content that is laughable at best. I mean, be self-aware enough to be able to roll with the punches when people criticize it. Because listen, you're putting it out on the internet for everyone to see. And you put out content like you put out, it's going to get criticized. To take a stand like you're taking and, and drag these people through the mud. These people that are just doing what they do. Doing what they've done to make a career for themselves. To try and bring them down because you can't handle 
a little joke, a little criticism, a little critique about the content you put out to the public. It's insane. Like, use your brain. It's just really a shit situation, and I hope it, I hope it pans out the way we want it to. Honestly, I just, I can't imagine it going into the, any other way, but, uh, we won't know until that happens, but I think in the meantime, just fucking, let's just keep supporting Ethan and Hila. Whether or not, you know, you like their content is one thing. Uh, it's just, it's the principle of the whole matter, I think, that requires your support. And I feel like, obviously, from what I've seen, everyone on YouTube is on their side. So let's just uh, keep showing them that, keep showing them that we support them. And, uh, and that's pretty much it, man. Listen, if you watch... This video, you're like, oh, you want to leave a comment like, Leon, you're rambling or whatever. Who cares? All this, whatever, dude. I don't fucking care. It's my channel. Occasionally, I'm going to upload a video where I talk seriously because in addition to fucking memeing and making songs and being comedic, I want to, this is a community for me, man. Like, I want to be able to talk to you guys about what's on my mind. And this has been bothering me a lot lately. I know it doesn't affect me directly, but it kind of affects all of us indirectly. So it should matter to us. So uh, leave me a comment about what you think of the situation. My guess is that anyone who's watching this probably shares basically the same viewpoint I do. Can't imagine there's any Matt Hassanzada fans that watch my videos. In fact, I can't imagine that there's any Matt Hassanzada fans at all. <laughs> so, fuck. I'll see you guys soon. I love you to death. Thanks for putting up with my shit. Peace.